Well, hello everyone. Back there in London at the Pride of uh, Britain Awards. I thought that I was hoping that I would be there with you, but uh, they've sent me off to Camp Bastion in Afghanistan. Where, as you can see, I'm surrounded by all these wonderful people who've made me feel very welcome indeed. The work of the Counter Improvised Explosive Device Task Force is dangerous but vital. They seek out and destroy improvised bombs and landmines that might otherwise cause devastating loss of life. We're dealing with the IED, the savage uh, threat. They're absolutely everywhere and they're targeting both civilians and the military. And that, that is our job, we're here to clear it up. Oh! They must have bloody nerves of steel, these young men, to do what they're doing. Yes, it does take a lot of courage. Fine! What is amazing is that they're so necessary because without them we'd be losing a lot more troops every day, presumably, if we didn't have them. Yeah, the Count ID Task Force are without a doubt lifesavers, whether it be you know, our own troops or you know the local Afghans. Bloody marvellous, marvellous job. Do you feel that you are an extraordinary person, that you are extraordinary, you're different, you're braver than the next bloke? It's definitely dangerous, uh, we all know that, um, but I don't think any one of us see us any braver than the next guy, so we just see it as our job to do this, so that's what we do. Hey, everyone look in the choice. Every one of these is a villain. <laughs> okay. Come on, bloody getting into this thing. Now, where's that bloody producer? Hey, <laughs> God. <laughs> well, he's not bad, is it? Well, you spend your day like this, driving around the countryside? <laughs> it's a walk in the park. <laughs> The counter IED team used cutting edge technology and equipment to find and dispose of all suspect devices. Labour charge! Nath, when you joined the army, you didn't join to become an IED explosive expert, did you? No, no. Uh, my mum wanted me to join something not so dangerous, so she wouldn't let me join the infantry. So I joined uh, the engineers to get a trade out of it. Yeah. But then, uh, obviously, when I got my posting, it was to EOD, and that's one of the more dangerous jobs in theatre at the minute. So that turned out quite uh, different how my mum thought it would have been. Their work requires the utmost skill, bravery, commitment and steadfast nerves. The prospect of serious injury and death are ever present. But if it weren't for the risks that these men and women take, the death toll would be so much higher. It's been an absolute privilege to lead soldiers that I have working for me. On a daily basis, I'm absolutely, truly humbled um, by the dedication and the bravery that they show. I'm so very proud indeed. So the reason why I'm here halfway across the world in Afghanistan is to present this special recognition award to the CIED Task Force. So I'd like to call in the representatives, which is Ian and Nathan. Now, Ian and Nathan, I want you on behalf of the whole task team to accept this special recognition award from the Pride of Britain to recognize your bravery and your dedication and thank you very much on behalf of the whole country. We're very proud of you. Thank you very much. Um, wouldn't it be impossible without obviously our predecessors? Uh, we think it's actually outstanding that we uh, get recognised for this award. Bless you.